everyone, my name is Javela Proença and today we're going to talk about problem set 4 emoji of CS50 introduction to programming with Python. If you have any question about programming or the career, schedule a free meeting with us, the link is in the description. And we would like to emphasize that this video solution is made for those who have already completed the assignment and want to have an alternative view about the problem. We totally disencourage plagiarism. Alright, so let's just start. Here in this problem, we're going to implement a program that prompts the user for a string in English and then output the emoji version of that string, converting any code uh, to their corresponding emoji. All right, so here we're going to learn how to import uh, libraries and using our code, all right? Before we start seeing this idea, let's just start implementing what we know, okay? So basically here, what we have to do, we're going to ask the user for a message. Here we're asking input and the user is giving us colon, thumbs up, colon. And we're gonna output the emoji, all right? So let's just start with this input part. So in here, we're going to get the user uh, answer all right and we're gonna use the input function we already we've been using this function for a while all right so we're going to get the information from the user and what will be the message we're gonna display will be this input colon okay so let's see here input colon and if we ask his this in here if we run Python user answer we're going to sorry user answer sorry <laughs> Python emoji.py. It's going to ask us something like hi, and it's not going to do anything because we're not doing anything as in our code. All right. So now let's see how can we import functions or libraries in our code. Okay. So basically in here, we can see in the hints that the emoji modules come with two functions. And we can take a look in this, in this link in here. Let's see. So this is the explanation about the emoji function, the emoji module, all right? And we have two functions. We have the dot emoji. So for example, if we say dot emoji python is thumbs up, here it's appearing the thumbs up. And we have the demojis. And here, if we put an emoji, it's going to convert into a string, all right? So we're going to use this module here. How can we use this module? Here, CS50 asks us to install this pip install emoji. So this way we're going to install the module in our environment and then we're able to use it, okay? So we're gonna run this command in our terminal. So we're gonna do pip, let me clear my terminal. We're gonna do pip install emoji. This is the module we wanna uh, install. If you click enter, here I already installed in my computer, so it's going to say that everything is satisfied, all right? But in your terminal, it might appear some messages saying that it's downloading everything we're gonna use, all right? So far, so good. Then what we have to do? Now we're going to get this emoji thing here. We have to import now this library in our code, all right? And then we can use the function. So let's understand how can we import libraries in our code? How can we do this? If you want to use a set of functions in your application from a library, you can use the import keyword. This way you can get access to code from another